Hey, so a lot of you guys have been asking me about my shoreline loot run and how I've made so much money. This wipe, I'm up to like 80 something mil and a couple thick cases. These are all of my resort keys. I run straight to the resort. Things to keep in mind is you want to bring the biggest bag that you possibly can or possibly can afford. You want to go pretty geared because there will be PVP. Sometimes you can go nighttime to avoid PVP, but keep in mind cultists definitely exist. They aren't always there, but they are there often and they will kill you. So, so these are the keys. Make sure you bring at least one SJ6. I like to run two, one on the way in, one on the way out. A mule, of course, and uh, and be ready for a fight. But there is, there's tons of loot. I think this raid, we got three Ledex. So good luck, dude, and enjoy the video. All right. Dude, actually, Tarkov, nobody talks about how much of a scam Tarkov looks like when you buy it. They're like, yeah, you can you can pay with uh, PayPal, even though PayPal doesn't work sometimes, or you can pay with uh, Best Buy gift cards. Your choice. All right. 104. Yeah, you can play with Starbucks cards. All right, we got Morphine. We paid 150k for this key. No. And a relay, which we don't even want. Okay, so first, it's a blue card spawn though, right here. Blue card. Um, usually the loot's better in there, but expect more than I just got, I think. Blue card spawn, food, duffel bags. Good. Yeah, seriously, you can buy Tarkov with Starbucks and Best Buy gift cards. Unless you red card spawn. Yeah, I was le I was legit looking up, dude, when I was buying Tarkov the first time. I was googling like, is Escape from Tarkov.com legit? It just looks like such a scam. 301, dude, my favorite room. The juicer, the juicer room, dude. 301 West. Lennox! Let's go! Oh! Let's go! I love you, 301. I love you, 301. You gotta have that injector case. It's needed. We hit the PCs here. We got the double 301 Letty. We're hitting the PCs. That's what I told you, Logic. Logic was roasting me for sitting crisscross applesauce in my chair. And now he's doing it. Alright, 311 West is where we're headed to next. 311 West. Uh, nothing here. Stuff spawns here. And then Magnet. Ledex, Bitcoin, GPU spawns there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got? 216 West. I say crisscross apple. I don't do it all the time, but I do it sometimes, guys. The crisscross applesauce. I don't do it all the time, but I definitely, especially if I'm like deep into a long stream. All right, Sims, meds, ammo, food, tech loot, and then cases. Sometimes I hit this one just because I like it. I don't want any of that shit. Um, two eighteen is connected to these. Oh, wait, yeah, I don't have two eighteen. I have two twenty one. And you could also buy 222. They all connect together. I have 221. I'd rather have 218 though. I think I just found 221 early wipe and kept it. Um, Grizzly, Medloot, Sims spawn all, all over that. Red card spawn. Ammo. Food. Again. Um, sometimes that milk is worth taking. I probably should be taking it. Uh, med bag here. Yeah, honestly... Logic sits when he pees, man. All right, 220 is a decent key. I should probably buy that. That's the only key that's... Uh, it's like okay. And then this is what, 219? Yeah, 219 is better than 220. 219. Ammo. So look, this is all sim spawns. I cannot believe there's not a sim here. I don't think I've ever opened it and not gotten a sim until right now. There's no sims here. They usually do spawn there. And then ammo spawns there. There's also a weapon case. All right, then from here, I like to... Go to 205. 205 is probably like my my third favorite room in all our resort and definitely my second favorite in East or West Wing. Sorry, 205 West. This is an online raid. 
That was right. We had a propotol. This is an online raid, but it's nighttime, and sometimes nighttime is pretty pretty quiet. You know, a lot of people just questing in nighttime raids. We got the shims. We got a toolbox. There's a med case. There's also a med bag in the other room that's connected. The range is expensive right now. I'll get that pin. I got I got the double Eddie in 301. Red card spawn. This is when it gets risky, guys. I don't know what we're gonna do. Do we send it? Sometimes I like to just full send it, man. There's cultists. There's fucking cultists outside. Look at them. There's three of them staring at me. I don't want no beef with no cultists, man. I don't want no beef with no cultists, dude. I'm not trying to cultist farm. See him? Look at him. See his ass? Oh. Let me alone, guys. Tape key looks closed. Two. This is 218. 218. Red card spawn. Out there. Cat. Uh, valuables. Tech loot spawns here. Roller and a cat. I don't want beef with the cultists. I'm trying to record a loot guide, not a cultist farming guide. The cultist farming guide is already on my YouTube, guys. The cultist farming guide is already on my YouTube. Okay, here, here. We'll do the full loot guide and then maybe we'll try to fight the cultists. How about, how's that? Um, good stuff. So oh, oh, man, I ain't fighting no cultists. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Never mind. The plans have changed. There will be no cultist farming this raid. Last thing I'm doing this raid is fighting a damn cultist. <laughs> Y'all are out of your minds. Okay, then I check uh, 227. There's a med spawn here. Do I check 209? No. Tape key. I hate that you can't shoot out these lights. Sims, med loot, tech loot. A suitcase, everybody tells me to loot the suitcase, so I'm not just gonna not loot the suitcase, that's pretty good. 107 East is also pretty decent. We got that triple Letty in Resort, dude. What do you know? IFAC is good. Tech loot, med loot. As in... As is pretty much every room in Resort. I just keep saying tech loot, med loot, but it's like... <laughs> that's just all the shit that spawns here. This is easy. Box and 222, 226 bathroom? Nothing really spawns in there. Oh, you mean like the, the rare spawn? Yeah. There's really never anything there, man. All right, I'll check the bathroom box, guys. I'll check it. I forgot to mention it. This is 222 again. Tech loot spawns here. This is USBs worth taking. And stuff spawns here sometimes, but it's like never here, dude. It, it is like pretty much never, never there. Maybe look at it, whatever, you know. All right, 328 East Wing. It's also connected to the storage room key. Oh, I thought it was a CPU fan. Weapon parts. Duffel PC. There's a valuable spawn over here. Um, on this table. With the PC. First game I got addicted to when I was a kid, probably like Crash Bandicoot, dude. All right, we're gonna go all the way down here. I like to just skip all this stuff in between and hit 310. I skipped 314 and all that. I skipped 314. I don't really care for 314. I had a lion in here earlier, but I don't think there's anything this way. The stuff spawns on the tables. The valuable spawns here. So I can get a Bitcoin lion, anything like that. All right, and then, honestly, guys, I ain't fighting no fucking cultists, dude. You guys are out of your minds. Out of your minds if you think I'm fighting cultists with three Ledex. I checked the card, I did. 
I'm not fighting tall pieces for you, but I said you're crazy. You're crazy, dude. You don't understand how insane cultists are. Clearly. You do not, you simply do not understand. It's not happening, dude. It's not happening. You're damn right I'm scared, actually. You are absolutely fucking correct I'm scared, man. Chad, the other thing with a hundred bits, dude. They're just standing? Yeah, yeah, until you shoot one. <laughs> Y'all fight cultists, man. You guys fight cultists. I found them in 222 East Wing, and I found them in 301 uh, West Wing. Look at the bits, man. Thank you. I am not fighting cultists, dude. You know, at first I was like, no, I'm not scared. I'm just smart. And then I was like, actually, you know what? I am scared. I most definitely am scared. 